this is the second episode that I unfortunately lost the commentary for, but uh, we're going to commentate over it now, and um, luckily it wasn't too long ago that I recorded it, so I can remember pretty much what happened. Um, if you remember last time, we cleared out the Super Duper Mart here in Lexington, had to deal with quite a few ghouls, and uh, as we were finishing, we kind of came out of here and discovered a couple of raiders who... We didn't have a great time with, to be honest, they uh, they did a pretty good job at uh, taking us out with either grenades or just shooting us, that sort of thing. So we're going to try some, uh, like, I was going to say new tactics, but it's not really new tactics, is it? Um, as I managed to miss twice with this uh, relatively weak gun, to be fair. It's, it really is not a very good sniper rifle. Especially as it doesn't even have a scope, but to be fair, um, have a bit more luck with the, the 10 mil. although there is quite a lot of recoil on it, so you have to fire quite slowly to actually get things on target. Now this guy has managed to hit us once, but he's done too much damage, and uh, we managed to take him out. There he falls down, so that's good. So we know there's another one there, and also some turrets as well, and this other one, and there they are. They like to throw Molotov cocktails at us as well. So we've got to be damn careful because one of those just wipes us out straight out. That's me trying to throw a uh, grenade. Um, but not, work, not working. And there's me dying from a grenade that they obviously threw. As I said, they, uh, they like to throw Molotov cocktails. It uh, ends up killing me rather badly. Um, So, here we are again, we can't have determined at this point to be like, okay, well, let's, let's, you know, give it a go and let's be a little bit more sneaky, get a little bit closer and try and take him out, kind of as best we can. I'm still persevering with this, like, idea of this bolt-action rifle, but I think the reality is it's just not very good. Um, from distance, really. scout around a little bit here. We certainly can't kind of take anybody out from any great distance at the minute. I'm sure at some point we'll get like a sniper rifle or something, but I kind of don't want to. See, so we executed a crit there and got him down quite a long way. Now he's using a shotgun, so just a miss there, but he's not going to have much luck against us, is he really? From there with a shotgun. Opponent or well, his comrade, though, you know, gets a little bit uh, trigger happy with the old uh, Molotov. So I'm backing off a lot here. Quite alive. worried. We take him out. So one left. At this point, I guess Frank is like thinking, well, he needs somewhere to sleep because it's getting dark. And um, us looking at this place here, that probably has beds. But we want to make sure the area is secure, you know, or else you never know what's going to happen in the middle of the night. Okay. So we're just kind of crouching around. This other one is. We're a little bit hungry, so we've got to just eat something. Bit of the old, the lovely grilled rad roach. It's nice. It's really nice. Got to be careful of those turret. That turret there as well. I think I can just about see them there. I think that's them, but I'm not too sure. So I to throw a molotov. Now, uh, I did have a bit of a problem with my controller, um, in that the right bumper is it's not quite clicking properly. Um, so I did actually buy a new controller recently, so it's not a problem anymore. 
got uh, uh, nothing fancy, got another Xbox One controller, but I have noticed that they have made some design refinements to the Xbox One controller, and it's a lot nicer now than it was. Feels a lot more of a premium product. Um, they we've got this kind of like um, like contoured like bit on the back, and also the bumper buttons feel a lot better than they do on the older version of it. So very happy with that. I got a red one, which I like, which kind of suits my whole setup, which is kind of red and black. One day I should probably do like a video on myself, but I'll save that for another day. Okay, let's see if we can't get a headshot. I actually got a headshot. <laughs> rifle there we just picked up as well because we have quite a lot of ammo for it and so it kind of I think in a way it makes sense to uh, you know maybe use an automatic rifle with it a machine gun if you will although I'm not a big fan of these pipe rifles 
at all. Okay. So there were some calls around here as well, but it looks like the raiders like took care of them. I think Frank's not a big fan of raiders at all. Like, I think he would see them as, you know, preying on the weak and, you know, the stories that probably Preston and, and those guys over Concord would have told him. Also, Dogney looks like he's sliding on ice there. Um, yeah, would, would have given him a very, like, particular view on... like the problem in the world rather than you know anything else so this is misty pines yeah is it misty or mystic i can't remember got a beer in a filing cabinet why not everyone needs a beer in a filing cabinet for work um it kind of looks like a retirement but I'm hoping we can kind of find a bed here and sleep because even though um, I don't, I'm not necessarily tired right now I know it's getting to night time but we might get tired so best uh, to do that okay and here I decided as that's an advanced lock I didn't want to get the advanced lock or lock picking um, one <clears throat> Even though I know that we need uh, to get a chemist as well, because that's important. But I thought I figured like having a, a, a like a lock picking skill up is pretty darn useful. To be fair, got it. Like this guy had a, a good old time. <laughs> Enjoy life. Fair play to you, buddy. Fair play. Get a few supplies from there, which is good. I thought we'd take some of the the vegetables because eventually we probably want to grow our own like vegetable patch type thing. We've got another advanced lock here. day actually I do love the way Fallout 4 looks not just with this uh, mod but just in general my girlfriend said that the graphics are not good in Fallout 4 I happen to think they're really good um, 
I know a lot of people didn't feel like it was such a big leap as perhaps they wanted, but I think it's really good. Um, I really like it. I think some of the like <clears throat> um, views and like you know scapes and just looking out and stuff like that are really really good. Um, I would say I agree. It's not like like graphically it's very good. I think, but it's not like purposely like oh my god this is stunning or anything but I like it a lot it's difficult to say how it will bode for uh, the next Elder Scrolls game or the next Fallout I guess but you know I haven't really got any graphical mods on this just an EMP and reshade and uh happy with the way it looks so we're just kind of thinking we, we're gonna head towards uh, Diamond City basically um, heading out this way seems very quiet around here we're very aware that you know any moment <laughs> who knows what could happen basically but you kind of just gotta gotta keep going stop over here as well and I think there's some like something going on down there as well the greaser jacket and jeans don't really need it I'm gonna have a look around here even though this place kind of looks like it's been pretty thoroughly looted maybe not that well looted after all very sad to think that these people you know may have just been trying to get out of the city and then this is where they you know they never made it and uh, it's unfortunate that they uh, didn't survive out my way dog me Shot or something there, just kind of whizzing by. No idea what it is, but it does appear to be something going on down here. You can just see like some gunshot there hitting that pillar. So we're kind of taking it easy. Something going on down there in what looks like this kind of shop, and then also appear to be out of here a military frequency. that uh, I'd actually turn the radio off so I didn't get copyright like strike so I thought I better turn it up a bit. Please describe hailing a reconnaissance squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization arcs Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Interesting. Now this would be of a lot of interest to Frank because, as I said, he's a military guy, and that sounds very much like the military. The like the the way they're speaking, the code words, all that kind of stuff. So he's very intrigued by this. Is there still a military around? Um, certainly, Preston. That didn't mention anything like that to him. So. Yeah, he's very intrigued by what that is, but also he's very intrigued as to why there's gunshots going on down here. Um, what is going on down here? Can't really see. There's some movement in there, but we can't quite make out who it is or what it is. It also looks like there's some bodies there as well. On oh, that, looks like some robots. We don't really know if these robots are anyway friendly 
I mean, it looks like they kind of killed some raiders. These look a bit like raiders, so they might just be like protecting the place rather than like actively trying to you know, kill people, I guess. And that kind of answers our question, doesn't it? When he says kill them all, Codsworth getting there. It looks like that's a, a, a very similar kind of model to Codsworth. But um, he manages there to blow that car up. So we make what I would like to call a tactical retreat. Or run away, as it's also known. <laughs> uh, up here. Because it looks like he's kind of like knocked out Codsworth there. So he's pretty darn strong. Love that depth of field there. Uh, dog meat as well. Looks like he's been hurt. So I'm going to try and get to him. It's okay, boy. We're coming for you. That's it. You're alright, buddy. So, this guy's got some type of bloody machine gun. And uh, isn't afraid to use it by the looks of it. And yes, he's done a lot of damage to me. I uh, wasn't quite aware at this point of how much. There's me trying to throw a bloody grenade again. I've got the Molotov selected. I'm starting to go for some normal grenades. Don't know how close I get these. Not very. Yourself. Looks like there's one of them up here. Uh, and there he is. So we got a nice shotgun, but that did not do a lot of damage at all. <laughs> really? For, for what it is? is like, okay, maybe like a laser weapon would be a better. He's kind of come around the corner there. It did a lot more damage, to be fair. So that's. You should use laser weapons against the robots. Don't need to do a little bit of tanking here. Tin. 
this Codsworth, but um, I can't uh, repair Codsworth because uh, we don't have a robot repair kit. So it's a little bit tough. <laughs> just I was trying to see if I could wait um, at all uh, to maybe get Codsworth to like repair himself or something to get back up because I know sometimes when you like leave combat they'll they'll just be okay if you kind of wait around but I couldn't find the button to do that but there's nothing in the uh, bit boy I still don't know actually if there is a way of doing it because obviously there isn't Skyrim but I don't think there is in uh, um, Fallout so So we're like, okay, well, we gotta kind of push on without him, and I figure like he will just basically head back to sanctuary, I think, um, to kind of repair himself, which is fine. Just give me and dog meat for a little bit. Um, that's fine. We'll go back for for Codsworth at some point, I'm sure, because he's our robot butler. Let's kind of like have a look here. Such a nice like view. so eerie and like creepy as well you just never know what's like around the corner at all another red rocket I think we just spot ghoul over there to the right so like okay interesting there's more of them is there seem to be like all over the place basically they're everywhere let's check out this uh, garage here see if there's anything of interest and uh, a Nuka Cola as well which is good because it's pretty darn useful there's interestingly a power armor station here and uh, a workbench or a, an armor workbench anyway um, or weapons workbench sorry which is interesting some shooting now it sounds kind of sounds a little bit like firecrackers at first but there's definitely some shooting going on and you can see that Cotsworth's going to sanctuary so he's uh just gotta go and get himself repaired kind of heading around here from this like main square like maybe some laser weapons and this Cambridge police station it looks like they've got a problem with ghouls so kind of leg it down here come across these guys here 
else he would seem they're more interested in the ghouls, but <clears throat> I guess we have to wait and see what comes of that. That guy managed to hit me. They do a heck of a lot of damage when they manage to hit you. That's good. Give ourselves a stim pack because we got crippled. Appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary what? Hills, We're going to on the other side of town. I've basically. seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. So yeah, I mean, Frank's interested, but he doesn't know anything about these guys, basically, at this minute, other than they do seem to be military and they haven't tried to kill him yet which is a good start because most people do try and do that I'll continue to help but you owe me an explanation first very well I'm Paladin Zanz Brotherhood of Steel over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese we're on recon duty but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors but the signal's too weak to reach them sir if I may proceed Halen I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? The day we've Who met are the, the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel? Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans and we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement have wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? I think Frank is... He's very interested, as I said, he has heard the kind of big if we make military I can assure background. You that I wouldn't and, undertake this mission unless like, I had this is comforting to him, you know? This kind of... Uh, Take Reese inside and find discipline and yes, regiment sir. and Once you're on your all that kind of stuff. You to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm Frank is uh, very, very interested in this because, as I said, military background. If there is this kind of brotherhood of steel, this this kind of technological backed, you know, semi kind of military group who are quote unquote good people, then um, <clears throat> then you know that will help him in his quest to find uh, you know his son and the killer of his wife. Very much so. So they kind of look at this, and he's pretty impressed. They've got their defenses up. I don't know how they carried all of those in, but I guess they did. Um, and yeah, he's very, very interested.
very fine sir. Knight Keen, who unfortunately, um, and a laser rifle. Um, I was kind of thinking about whether we should take the fatigues, but I kind of figured, well, oh, he's not going to need him, is he? <coughs> water as well always helps makes it difficult to has me up or what? I don't know. underestimate how Rock important it is to get them. like purified water just take you out back and shoot you <laughs> you're all hard dog just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on can see around here, I mean, to be fair, Paladin Dance did say we supply, so that kind of implies that we can just take what we want. It's also nice that they got some sleeping bags here for us to kind of rest up at, although it You're doesn't cure our tiredness, out. unfortunately. I'm sorry. Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, <coughs> and that's all there is to it. I'll be certain to keep out of your way then. You do that. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? Okay. By Top, I guess he means Paladin and Dance. Got the max level of uh, adrenaline at the minute. But we are tired though, unfortunately. Always useful. So a chat with Excuse Scribe, me, Scribe as well. Sorry about the other guys. <coughs> and we're over encumbered, <laughs> which means we're taking damage. Apologies are meaningless to me. Okay. I, I actually that. didn't mean to say that. I understand one, that their attitude comes from being jammed through the ringer for the last few months. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. How's security looking? It's fair enough. Are you going to be able to hold out here? This building's pretty hey. solid. We should be safe enough. Yeah. Oh, my dog means got a stim back on him. Fortunate thing with dog meat is he really can hold a lot. <laughs> compared, definitely compared to like Cotsworth, he can hold loads. over some stuff here. I think like it's unfortunate that the like you know you have to manage your inventory but I mean it's it is realistic if you could just carry everything anywhere then there would be no point to the survival mode with the because I'd just be able to carry all the food and water at one and stuff like that. It would really make the game worse. But obviously it's quite annoying when you have to constantly be playing around, filling around, stuff like that. There's not really a simple solution to it. Um, but there you go. <laughs> simple solution, I guess, is get another level of strong back. But <laughs> I genuinely can't remember what I even took. I don't know. 
take anything. That seems a little bit pointless. <laughs> oh, I know what was happening here. Uh, I was having a problem with my controller. It was running out of battery. So, um, I was trying to uh, <clears throat> do this with mouse, uh, but it was playing up a little bit. Basically going to mouse and keyboard. Um, yeah, because my controller... Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin dances waiting for you. So, um, yeah, basically we finish up in a minute because after this holotape, Feels my controller keeps running out. Log entry. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. So, some interesting thoughts there from uh, Scribe Halen, for sure. She does make Frank question the Brotherhood a little bit more there. Maybe they're not all they seem, but... Um, we're going to finish up there, guys. Next time we'll be um, back to normal, so it'll be commentary as I'm playing. I, I didn't lose any more episodes, but thank you so much for watching. As always, it's been my pleasure, and um, I will see you in the very next episode. See you soon. Bye-bye.